Honolulu was number one, El Paso, Texas was number two. One of the reasons that I actually was late in coming to Omaha was because I was afraid for my safety. You know, I was going to leave the second state of the city in the United States and I was going to come to a much greater crime infested city here in Omaha, Nebraska. And so Sister Kathleen had to reassure me that I would be safe here in Omaha. So any of you began to be concerned about your safety, come on down to El Paso. Okay? <laughs> the idea that immigrants do not pay taxes. The Comptroller of the State of Texas, a woman by the name of Carol Keaton, a conservative Republican who ran against Rick Perry four years ago. Her son, Scott McClellan, was George Bush's press secretary. He quit that to come and manage her campaign against George, uh, Rick Perry. Her office as Comptroller, the Chief Accountant for the State of Texas, did the first ever analysis of the impact of undocumented people in the United States, I mean in the State of Texas. First, she determined that Texas has one and a half million undocumented people. She then determined that if you could somehow magically wave a wand and pull out those one and a half million from the state of Texas, Texas would suffer an almost $17 billion hit to its GDP. When she specifically analyzed the amount of money that those undocumented people pull out of the state in state supported social services and compared it to what they put in and the taxes that they pay. Carol Keaton said every year Texas is the net gainer of almost one half billion dollars in taxes from undocumented people. One of the statistics that is always mentioned, the Social Security Administration maintains something called an earnings suspension file. Any social security number that is not valid, that is being used fraudulently, that belongs to a baby or someone who died or was invented out of thin air, they track the revenue that is deducted when paychecks are made. As that money comes in, it is tracked, it, tracked in what they call the earning suspension file. Those are the taxes paid by undocumented people. Okay? Up to now, the Social Security Administration has tracked one half million one half trillion dollars contributed by undocumented people. As I look at this audience, there's a lot of people here that are Social Security be beneficiaries. You get that check every month. Tonight when you go to bed, you say, thank you Jesus for all those undocumented people that are helping this check come to me every single month. Okay? 70%, upwards of 70% of the undocumented people in the United States that are working are working on the books. What that means is they're using the Social Security number, and that means they have income tax, FICA, and Medicare taxes deducted from those paychecks. All these raids, all this e verify all of it is based on the assumption that undocumented people are working on the books. The idea that undocumented people take advantage of education because they place their children in public schools and that it's our tax burden. Folks, how do we pay for our local grade schools and our high schools? Most states, I know that in Texas, I know that in El Paso, we pay for education through property taxes, through lottery sales, and through subsidies from the state that get its funds from sales tax. So, you can take me undocumented and my wife Maria and my four kids who live in an apartment in El Paso and you can take here Mary and her husband who are U.S. citizens and their four kids. Mary teaches in school, her husband is also a teacher, they each make $35,000, $40,000 a year, they have a house, they're paying a mortgage, they live in their home. Me and Maria, we live in an apartment in Texas and I don't know if that's true in Omaha, in Texas, in El Paso, because they pay a mortgage, it's, it's a homestead, they pay less percentage in property taxes than we do because we're in a commercial building, an apartment. And so the owner of the apartment prorates the tax bill among its apartment units and every month in the rent, I'm paying my share at a commercial rate property tax. Statistics tell us the people that buy lottery tickets aren't the college graduates because you took a course called statistics and the statistics <laughs> they taught you it's better instead of buying 
a lottery ticket twice a week, take those two dollars, put it in a mutual fund and leave it in there for 25, 30 years, you're going to have a couple of grand at the end of it. Well, Maria and I can't pronounce the word statistic. We buy lottery tickets because we have the hope that somehow it's going to get us out of the poverty. And then, when I go to Walmart, and I'm at the cashier, or I go to Kmart, or I go to Target, and I'm at the cashier, you know, you've all seen it. An undocumented person comes and says, oh, cashier, I'm undocumented. Please deduct the taxes. <laughs> we pay the exact same taxes that she does and her husband. We pay the exact same sales taxes. What's really interesting, and notice, is the next time that you fill up your gasoline, your car with gasoline, before you leave, go to one side and just stand there. Eventually, an undocumented person is going to drive in to fill up their car and watch what happens. They get out of their car, they kind of look around, see if anybody's noticing. If nobody's noticing, they go to the side of the pump and they whisper into the pump, I'm undocumented, I'm illegal. Deduct the state and federal taxes. And of course, the machine does, and they pay 40, 50 cents per gallon less than you do. Watch it. You might even learn how they do it so that you can go and whisper and pretend that you're undocumented too and pay 40, 50 cents. So, one day, Maria and I, sit down because we're having a really hard time economically and we say we pay commercial rate property taxes we buy lottery tickets we pay the same taxes everybody else does so Maria and I we get in our old little beat up truck and we drive over to their house and we knock on the door and when they open the door our first question to them is why should we have to subsidize the public education of your children? <laughs> now, how many of you have heard it put in those words? And yet, that is the truth. And yet, we keep hearing that undocumented people do not pay taxes.